Hey, let me. What's Disney? I don't have you for long. I got to get it. What? What the hell is Disney doing here? What are they I doing? I think they've lost their 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 way. Um, and 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 I think this is bigger picture one of the issues that arises with big companies now. They're about five percent, maybe ten percent of people that are super woke. Let's start here. I don't know. I mean, I I grew up going to Walt Disney World. We would stay at the campground. Uh, my parents would, that was our family vacations and we would go to Epcot and we'd go to the magic kingdom. That was what my parents liked to do with us, my sister and I, when we were young. Um, and as a part of like the fireworks display or the lights parade or whatever else, they would always say, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, right. To try to, uh, to, to speak to everybody that was there. And Disney has decided that isn't inclusive enough. Because evidently there are some people who refuse to acknowledge either gender, right? They, they argue that they're neither male nor female. Well, first of all, that's scientifically inaccurate, right? Like you're a boy or you're a girl regardless, <laughs> right? Um, but why would you make the decision to try to respond to whatever malcontent, tiny subset of people is offended by ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls? When the vast majority of the American public is not. And so I think what you're seeing is there is a over-reliance on social media and what the what I call the blue check brigade uh, is obsessed about on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you allow them to dictate your responses, then you end up alienating far more people than you do actually placating by the choice in the first place. So I think... What, what happens is people don't make the best decision for companies. They make the best decision for preserving their own job. And, uh, and, and I think that's where Disney is right now. And also, I mean, so much of this is just a lie, right? I mean, I was down, we had dinner with uh, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Buck and I did, my radio show co-host, on uh, Tuesday night in Florida. Um, and obviously, that's when this thing really was kind of taking off. But You've got kids. I've got kids. I had public school kids. I have public school kids now. I don't think it's controversial to say that kindergartners, first graders, second graders, and third graders shouldn't be instructed in sex-related issues, whether it's gay issues, transgender issues, straight sex, whatever it is. Like Five to eight-year-olds don't really need to have that as a part of their instruction. Let's focus on math. Let's focus on reading. Uh, let's focus on the bare bones, the basics of education. And uh, the fact that this has somehow ended up being controversial, most parents say, yeah, that makes sense. The fact that we need to have a law uh, to, uh, to, to protect against the instruction of sex-related issues for kindergarten through third grade uh, seems to me to be a sign of, of how much we're getting wrong. But that's where we are right now with this uh, this craziness going on in Disney. And I think you know, candidly, a lot of people are canceling Disney Plus as a uh, as a form of protest because Disney is the preeminent children's entertainment company in the world. And I think a lot of parents are saying, why is this company of the opinion that sex education needs to start for five year olds? Um, I, I think there are a lot of parents asking that question. My daughter is, I think I've told you, the school teacher in your kid's school district. Oh, right yeah, yeah, Tennessee. yeah. And I'm not, yeah, yeah, I don't really want to push. She's a fourth grade teacher, and I don't want to put words in her mouth, but I guarantee you she does not. She doesn't. Teachers don't want to be teaching sex education to three, uh, four, a kindergarten, first, second, crazy. third. Now, you see some whack jobs. You know, you see crazy people on Twitter that want to do it. But the majority of teachers, they want to teach what? Reading, writing, arithmetic, influence. They don't want to teach this. Yeah, I right? think that's, So even from the other side, they don't I, want to I do this. I think that's 100% accurate. And uh, one of the things that has happened, I think, as a result of COVID is, one, uh, parents have gotten more aware and more involved in what their kids are learning on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think that's because so much of schooling became home. Uh, based and parents were more the remote schooling. They were more aware maybe than they would have been in the past. And uh, I also think that uh, that there has been as a part of that acknowledgement of what's going on, a lot more parents have realized that they need to be involved in their kids education and uh, and and that there is a lot of things that have absolutely nothing to do with education at all 
that are a substantial portion of this story overall.